Lloyd lives in Kunlun village with his grandfather and older brother. Years later, he travels to Azami Kingdom where he will be staying with the East Side Witch, Marie, while he takes the soldier exam. Marie almost refuses until he produces a magic crystal, which summons his village chief, Alka, Marie's former master. Alka tells Marie to look after Lloyd. Marie learns that Lloyd, who considers himself to be weak, is actually very powerful. Lloyd defeats a monster attacking Selene, a young girl with a belt around her head. Selene reveals the belt was cursed onto her as a child, and was told only great strength would remove it. However, after meeting Lloyd, the belt simply falls off, causing her to fall in love with him. Before the exam, Ryo, an ex-criminal turned military cadet, senses Lloyd is extremely dangerous. Selene shows extreme jealousy when Lloyd talks to Riho. Marie reveals Kunlun is by a still undefeated dragon containing the most powerful monsters in the country. So while Lloyd is considered weak by people from his village, he's probably one of the strongest humans in the world. After the exam, Lloyd's name is not listed amongst the candidates. Selene, Riho, and officers Merthoen and Sholene are confused as to why Lloyd failed to become a military cadet. It is announced that Princess Maria is still missing. Lloyd gets a part-time job at a cafe owned by Chrome, an ex-royal guard. Charlene discovers Lloyd failed his written test because he wrote ancient runes. Selene decides to find Marie and have Lloyd admitted to the academy as her reward. Lloyd tells Alka and Marie he will work at the cafe until the next exam. Marie tells Alka that her father, King Azami, is being controlled by someone planning a war with the Geo Empire. But Alka refuses to help as people from Kunlun are too powerful and only provide aid in situations like apocalyptic disasters. Selene gets in a fight with fellow noble student Alan Littlecane and her cursed belt, which she now wears at her waist, protects her, which she takes as another sign Lloyd is her soulmate. When Lloyd arrives, Selene declares he is her companion and will fight Alan for her. Alan agrees, thinking he can impress the officers. Marie swoops in and steals Lloyd away with wind magic before he can kill Alan by accident. Lloyd mistakenly assumes Marie saved him from Alan. Chrome then confronts Marie, who he recognizes as the missing Princess Maria. Marie reveals that whoever is manipulating her father will likely have him declare war at a summit in three days and requests Chrome's assistance. Selene, searching for Princess Maria, decides to ask Marie for help, only to furiously realize Lloyd lives with her. Just as Marie is about to reveal her true identity, Lloyd bursts out his mistaken belief Marie is the hero who saves people in secret. Taking advantage of this, Marie claims that he is a weakling. Once Lloyd leaves, Marie asks Selene and Riho for their help. Alka praises Marie for keeping Lloyd out of it, but then punishes her for dropping her magic crystal down a well. Based on information gathered from assassins searching for Marie, Chrome accuses Merthohan of cursing the king, which he admits is true. As Marie, Riho, and Selene arrive, the king suddenly reveals he is possessed by a demon lord Abaddon, and he was actually controlling Merthohan. Marie chases after her father, hoping to use one of Lloyd's runes to free him from the possession, but he breaks her hand containing the rune. Marie realizes a demon lord is something Lloyd is allowed to fight. Lloyd finds Alan hiding from Abaddon's locust monsters, and Alan is encouraged to act like a real soldier and fight. Alka later destroys the monsters for ruining her romantic plans for Lloyd. Chrome, Riho, and Selene fight Merthohan, who is turned into a locust hybrid. Lloyd arrives, and while appealing to Merthohan's desire to be a true soldier, defeats him with a slap. Marie then asks him to clean the dirt from the king's body, which he does. Not knowing his cleansing rune is so powerful, it purges Abaddon from the king's body. The next day, Lloyd's brother, Shoma, arrives, but disappears before Alka sees him. Chrome rejoins the army, while Merthohan is exiled to Kunlun. With the king cured, Mary decides to remain a witch. Grateful that Lloyd helped him, Alan declares Lloyd his master and gets him admitted to the academy. Alka clashes with Selene over Lloyd and realizes her belt is a powerful protective relic that went missing from Kunlun years ago. Annoyed with everyone, Marie banishes Alka back to Kunlun through her crystal and sends Lloyd and his friends to school. Marie takes Lloyd on a job where he draws a holy sword from a stone. Choline later announces the Inter-Academy match against Rokucho Academy. Selen and Lloyd decide to learn healing magic. Marie meets Sister Mina and Philo of Rokucho Academy, who are searching for Riho. Sensing Lloyd's powerful aura, Philo instinctively attacks him. Alka then turns Marie into a butterfly. Roll, Rokujo's headmistress, tries to make Riho come home, but Riho angrily refuses. Seeing Riho upset, Lloyd asks Riho on a date thanks to Marie's advice. Riho reveals Roll gave her the prosthetic arm, but Riho realized Mithril drains magic and Roll only wanted the arm to draw a holy sword, so she ran away. 
The next day, Mikona, a second-year student, tries to outdo Lloyd, but is instantly defeated. Mikona goes to Marie for healing as she has a crush on her, only to realize Lloyd lives with her. As the matches begin, Riho swears to defeat Roll. Just as it is announced, the grand prize is the holy sword Lloyd previously pulled out. Mikona is later seen telling her story to Shoma, so Len duels Philo, but is disqualified when she physically strikes Philo. In the next match, Mina tries to use her water magic against Lloyd but he ultimately wins. Later, Roll removes Ryo's prosthetic. Ryo then begins chanting a high-level water spell, causing Roll to pass out from fear. Roll wakes up furious and learns a witch, who lives with a young man, retrieved the holy sword. Deciding to force the witch to become her ally, she orders Philo to take the young man hostage, but Philo misunderstands and steals Alka's magic crystal. Lloyd, believing Marie has been kidnapped, rushes to find her. Philo demands Lloyd to duel her to the death, but he insists they arm wrestle. Lloyd defeats Philo, who decides she wants to marry him. Alka appears from her crystal and punishes Roll following an insult. Alan saves Roll from the river and is unintentionally credited with saving the town. Riho visits Roll in the hospital, and Roll remembers she only became so ambitious because she wanted to help Riho rebuild their failing orphanage. Meanwhile, an unknown magician is revealed to have been manipulating Roll's memories to get the sword so he can defeat the dungeon in Kunlun. Lloyd takes a job as a cleaner at a hotel. The owner, Koba, admits something keeps attacking his workers. A notoriously difficult guest, Lord Theranin, arrives and asks Lloyd's opinion on a cypress forest his family takes care of, and is impressed with Lloyd's answer. Later, Theranin meets one of Koba's maids, Kikyo, and shares his suspicions that Koba is illegally raising trents in the forest. He also shares his annoyance that the local lord wants his daughter to marry his son. Alan. As Trents are linked to demon lords, Kikio accuses Lloyd of possession due to his abilities and given an antidote by Theronine. She mixes it into Lloyd's tea, but it is accidentally drunk by an outraged Koba. Kikio flees and Koba starts to suspect Kikio and Theronine are behind the attacks on his workers. Riho later appears as a guest, as does Selene and her father, the Lord wanting to marry Theronine's son. However, Selene is overjoyed when Lloyd appears instead, as Theronine asked Lloyd to stand in for Alan after he had passed out. Selene immediately suggests she and Lloyd go on a date so they can investigate the local area. Shoma arrives with a delivery of firebombs. Kikio is determined to expel Lloyd's Trent and convinces him to have an antidote massage, but is forced to flee when Selene sees her trying to stick the antidote down Lloyd's pants. Kikio meets Minoki, Theronine's secretary, who reveals he is responsible for the Trents. The demon lord of trees, Earl King, takes over Minoki. Lloyd easily deals with the Trents, while Erkling heads for the hotel. Selene's father reveals he has been legally dealing in Trents with Shoma. Lloyd's friends hold Erkling back with firebombs while Lloyd tears out Erkling's demon seed, returning Minoki to normal. Alka is later confronted by Shoma, who leaves after revealing he has been working with one of her enemies since the Holy Sword was removed. Selene's father conceals her arranged marriage and lets her continue her career as a soldier. Alka tries to con Lloyd into giving her a massage for her hard work, but Lloyd inadvertently performs a German suplex instead. Mikona meets Shoma and a priest named Father Sue. Meanwhile, the king asks Lloyd and his friends to defeat a giant snake in a new dungeon. Sue decides to defeat the snake first. Alka enters the dungeon to find Sue. Mary finds Minoka in the dungeon infected by a trend. Lloyd fights Minoka but is hurt when he protects Selene and Philo. Minoka claims friends have made him weak, but Lloyd claims they have helped him become a real soldier, and he defeats her. The snake is awakened and he reveals he is Vritra, guardian of Kunlun, and a source of Alka's power. Sue appears and kills Vritra, but Vritra reveals Selene's belt is made from his skin and he avoids death by passing his soul into it. Alka admits she inadvertently created it years prior. Sue teleports away, promising to unlock Kunlun's dungeon. The dungeon then collapses, so Alka teleports everyone to safety. Due to a mix-up, Alan is credited with defeating Vritra, so the king grants him the title Dragon Slayer. Lloyd realizes Sue is the name of a villain from a Kunlun fairy tale. Alan later kidnaps Selene and Vritra, claiming she needs them in Kunlun. To celebrate peace between Izami and Geo, an exhibition match is arranged. Meanwhile, Alka, Selene, and Vritra are accompanied to Kunlun by Lloyd, Marie, and everyone else except for Alan, who is forced to fight in the exhibition match. Lloyd and company are joined by Oog, a dwarven resident of Kunlun where they are supposed to see how overpowered the villagers are. 
Trolene and Chrome visit Mirthropan and are disappointed he has no plans to return. Riho finds that the people of Kunlun consider legendary dragons to be common pests, while Selene's marriage plans are foiled when several children turn her marriage license into weapons to drive the dragon away. Later, Selene is furious when all the girls manage to impress Lloyd's relatives except for her. Elsewhere, Alka and Yu could discuss Sue, Vritra in particular, revealing they erased part of Vritra's memory for an unexplained reason. Mirthrofan reveals to Marie he was given a mysterious egg by a traveling merchant, after which the king became possessed. And though Mirthrofan is unable to describe what the merchant looked like, he remembers the merchant used a particular phrase during their conversation that Marie has heard before. To ensure Alka keeps her powers, Vritra's body must be resurrected. Alka reveals that Kunlun's dragon is actually a prison holding multiple demon lords, and the villagers are its guards. The prison also holds a mysterious power capable of affecting the entire world if misused, and the dungeon is in danger of being unlocked because Alka, being so absent-minded, forgot that Vritra was so important. Yug further reveals that the key to the prison is the Holy Sword. Yug begins Vritra's resurrection into an egg, rendering Alka powerless until it hatches. Once alone with Alka, Yug betrays her, revealing that she waited for Alka to be powerless before beginning her plan to open the dungeon herself. She next sends Lloyd to search for Alka, trapping him in Kunlun while Yug teleports everyone back to Azami and permanently closes the portal. Riho visits Roll, who starts to remember things about the magician who altered her memories, sounding suspiciously like Yug, but Riho doesn't notice the significance. At the match, the king is accompanied by Shoma and So. Suspicious, Riho asks the king to cancel the match. Meanwhile, Lloyd locates Alka and frees her. Alka uses a cannon to blast Lloyd back to Azami. Meanwhile, during the match, So suggests Azami and Geo should take over the world, but the king refuses. Mirthofan arrives to fight Shoma, who admits the world is too boring, so he plans to start a war so Lloyd could become a hero. So reveals he's an artificial being created by Alka hundreds of years ago to save the world. However, after he completed his task, he was unable to die. Therefore, his plan is to have Lloyd kill him. Lloyd suddenly arrives and accuses Yuga of faking Vritra's resurrection as a prank. Realizing Alka had to lie to Lloyd due to his naivety, Marie plays along and gets him to defeat Yug's creatures. Selene steals back Vritra's egg from Yug and verbally torments him into turning back into a belt. Alka arrives with her powers restored, so So and Shoma leave. Now Lloyd is publicly a hero, taking a furious Yug with them. As Alan defended the king from So, he is once again given credit for Lloyd's heroics. Lloyd continues fighting with Marie and his friends, still oblivious to what actually happened. And that's the end of the video. As always, if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading a lot of videos just like this, so I'll see you at the next one.